Hello and welcome to Liverpool Independent Art School tutorial videos. Today we're going to be talking about some drawing fundamentals. There's two or three of these videos coming up. Just looking at some of the basics of drawing. Uh, fundamental to what we do as artists, it tends, good, good drawing tends to underpin pretty much whatever we do. What I'm going to look at today is how we use simple shapes to plan a composition. I'm going to be drawing this um, old blow lamp and it looks, as you can see, quite a complicated form to draw. Quite, cause some people find it quite daunting, but actually we're able to simplify this and just see it as a number of cylinders. There's one. There's one, there's two, there's three. So when you see the first stage of the drawing, that's what I'll be doing. Um, once we've got that basic framework there, we can work into it and then we can worry about detail. And it's a, it's a drawing method which you can apply to pretty well everything. Whatever it is you're trying to draw, however complicated it might look, there will be some simple shapes underlying it. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the drawing board. Okay, so we're going to start drawing. And I'm going to start with a, with a basic cylinder shape. Now I'm going to keep quite a light touch. I'm using charcoal. Now one of the advantages of charcoal, of course, is you can manipulate it. It's quite easy to rub out should you need to. Um, always start with a light touch, whatever material you're using. If you have, if you go in very early with some very heavy, very dark marks, and you decide afterwards that you need to change them, it can it can be difficult to do. But while, if you keep a light touch, you should be fine. I'm just going to pause the drawing there for a minute and just take a look at what I've done up to now. If you think back to the blow lamp itself, and we talked about those three basic cylinders, that's what I've actually drawn. I'm ignoring detail. I'm just giving myself a framework to work in. Now what I would like to do at this stage is pause, take a look at the blow lamp, take a look at the drawing, and if I'm happy that that looks about right, I'll continue with it. So that looks okay as, as a framework, so I'm, I'm going to continue adding a little bit more detail. Uh, one of the things I will do is add a bit of tone. A lot of folk do tend to think tone is something you put in afterwards, but of course you're perfectly fine to put in tone as you go along. Helps to get the drawing looking three-dimensional right from the, the outset. Useful little device sometimes is to just put a centre line in if you're working with a symmetrical object. These little details I'm doing now, this sort of nut-shaped hexagonal bit at the base, um, can be a quite a complicated shape if you start off trying to go in straight away with the detail. But because I've got this cylindrical shape to, to give me a framework, it's actually relatively easy. Similarly here, there's another hexagonal form here. But because I've got that circular framework, it's not too difficult to put that in. It's the actual burner. Again, I'll put a little bit of tone on. What we've got there is this piece of metal that comes down, forms the handle. shadow there, we've got the light coming from that side. Okay, so there it is. 
So here we are with the finished drawing and the old blow lamp again. I'll just recap how I started this drawing. If you remember, we were talking about the three cylinders on this blow lamp. Quite complicated shapes, but we simplified them. You can see them clearly in the drawing. There's one, there's two, there's three. Got those in first. Once I had that framework, I was able to work in um, some more of the detail and a little bit of tone. Okay, um, now it's a nice exercise for you to follow up at home. You can actually try it with, as I say, almost any object. Um, find yourself a nice bit of equipment from the kitchen or the garden or something like that. And just have a go simplifying the shapes, get that basic framework in first and then work in the detail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.